Yo guys, what is up? Garrett McCouchy's coming back again for another reaction to Ruby. Now, before we start off here, I just want to update everybody on what's going on. Now, if you're wondering why there's yet another change in recording location, um, well, I'm still at college, but uh, the reason for it is because last week I accidentally dropped my laptop, and as a result, the screen didn't take it too well, so it looks like it's tripping on acid. Anyway, um, for that reason, I'm going to have to rely on HDMI for a while until I can get it replaced. And in doing so, I also picked up an HDMI to composite video converter so I can use it with pretty much any TV I got. I actually dragged my, my little TV down here and that's how I'm doing it. Anyway, getting on to the reaction. Alright where we last left off, we found out that the leader of Team Juniper, Jean, not only is he having a rough start at Beacon, but we also found out that he had to cheat his way to get there. And likewise, a bully named Carden is going to try to take advantage of him and try to use him in a pawn in some of his dirty work. And let's see how that carries out. Anyway, we're going to be reacting to episodes 13 and 14 in 3, 2, 1... Go. Well, there's Pira. How come Jean gets home so late? He's become rather scarce ever since he's been fraternizing with Cardi. That's weird. Doesn't he know we have a field trip tomorrow? We need our quest! I'm sure our leader knows exactly what he's doing. Hmm. I guess so. Oh, yeah, and Pira's just. Hey, Jean. Well, oh, yeah, she doesn't even know about Long it. Time no see. Did you lock yourself out again? Oh, uh, nope. <laughs> Got it. So, where have you been lately? I, uh... I messed up. I did something I shouldn't have, and now carton has got me on a leash, and Kira won't even talk to me. I'm starting to think coming to this school was a bad idea. I'm a failure. Aw. Nope. 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 You're a leader now, Jean. You're not allowed to be a failure. But... What if I'm a failure at being a leader? Nope. <laughs> you know, you're not the easiest person to talk to about this kind of stuff. Nope. John, maybe you were a failure when you were a kid. <sighs> you might have even been a failure the first day we met. <sighs> but you can't be one now. You know why? Uh, because... Because it's not just about you anymore. You've got a team now, John. We both do. And if we fail, then... We'll just be bringing them down with us. We have to put our teammates first and ourselves second. Your team deserves a great leader, Jean. It's not going to be easy, but and I think that can that's be very you. true. Have a good night, Jean. Hey, it's your buddy Carden. I know you're probably busy with that dust project I gave you, but I'm going to need you to go out and get me a bag of rapier wasps. Uh, and my make God. sure they've got some really big stingers. It's important, so don't screw this up. <sighs> One day, let's hope he can that John can stand up to that bully Carden. Yes, students, the Forest of Forever Fall is indeed beautiful, but we are not here to sightsee. Professor Peach has asked all of you to collect samples from the trees deep inside this forest, and I'm here to make sure that none of you die while doing so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Each of you is to gather one jar's worth of red sap. However, 
This forest is full of the creatures of Grimm, so be sure to stay by your teammates. We will rendezvous back here at four o'clock. Have fun. Come on, buddy. Let's go. You better do something that Cardin will be very, very grateful for. Like, on his knees, grateful for. Uh. Uh. Hey, great work, Johnny boy. Now that wasn't too hard, was it? I think I'm allergic to this stuff. Great, great, great. So, John, I bet you're asking yourself, why did my buddy Carden ask me to collect six jars of tree sap when there's only five of us? That is one of the many questions I have asked myself today, yes? Well, come with me and you'll find out. Oh. My thoughts exactly. And they don't notice them? Cardin, what's going on? Payback. Pira? What are you- That's the girl. Red-haired, know-it-all, thinks she's so smart. All right, boys. Last night, old John here managed to round up an entire box full of rapier wasps. And now, we're gonna put him to work. <sighs> Holy- now, According to one of the essays you wrote for me last week, these nasty things love sweets. Ooh. I'm thinking it's time we teach her a thing or two. Holy crap! And you're gonna do it. Do what? Hit her with the sap. Either that, or I'll have a chat with Goodwitch, and you'll be on the first airship at a beacon. Come on! No. What did you say? I said no. <laughs> oh, you've done it now. <laughs> uh oh. Let's only hope that that works in his favor. Hopefully they'll be there for him, but I digress. You know that wasn't very smart, Johnny boy. I'm gonna make sure they send you back to mommy in teeny tiny pieces. I don't care what you do to me, but you are not messing with my team. What, you think talk like that makes you tough? You think you're a big, strong man now? Ah! Ah! Huh? Aura? <coughs> Let's see how much of a man you really are. <laughs> well, ask and you shall receive. I say he had that coming. Did you guys hear that? Ursa, Ursa! What? Where? Back there, it's got carded! John! Yang, you and Blake, go get Professor Goodwitch. You two, go with them. There could be more. <laughs> crap, crap, crap. <laughs> oh, no. I was starting to think that they'd never say anything like that. Wait. 
Whoa. Come on, John. You can do this. I hope. Whoa! Uh, what? How did you? Where to go? Well, Ruby has her speed. You have your glyphs. My semblance is polarity. Oh. oh. You can control poles. No, you dunce. It means she has control over magnetism. Oh. Magnets are cool too. Wait, where are you going? Yeah, we gotta tell them what happened. We could. Or perhaps we could just keep it our little secret. Now it's your turn to be thankful. Holy crap, John. Don't ever mess with my team, my friends, ever again. Got it? All right. Where to go, John? And where no to go, Pira? Tonight? I thought you two were best buds. Pira, I'm sorry. I was a jerk. You were only trying to be nice, and I, I had all this stupid macho stuff in my head. John. It's okay. Your team really misses their leader, you know. You should come down. Ren made pancakes. No syrup, though. You can thank Nora for that. Wait! I know I don't deserve it after all that happened, but... Would you still be willing to help me? To help me become a better fighter? Your stance is all wrong. You need to be wider and lower to the ground. Let's try that again. I see a strong chemistry. All right, that was pretty awesome. Okay, so that was episodes 13 and 14 of Ruby. Now, now that Carden is off Jean's back and that Pira is helping out her leader, we can expect things to be looking up for not only Juniper, but probably also Team Ruby as well. And can't wait to see what happens next. Anyway, this has been Garrett McAuchie's Cummings in another reaction to Ruby. Till next time, peace out.